ओके ना दिस इज गेट टू थाउजेंड थ्री इस प्रॉब्लम वन मार क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन आस्ड इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इज दैट इन द सर्किट सोन बिलो द सिलिकॉन एन पी एन ट्रांजिस्टर क्यू हैज एन वेरी हाई वैल्यू ऑफ बीटा सो इट हैज बीन सेट इन द क्वेश्चन दैट द बीटा वैल्यू ऑफ दिस पार्टिकुलर ट्रांजिस्टर इज वेरी मच हाई एंड द रिक्वायर्ड इट इज आस्क टू फाइंड आउट द रिक्वायर्ड वैल्यू ऑफ आर टू ओके सो दिस इज आर टू to produce the ic 1 milli ampere so this is ic so how much value of rb is r2 is required to produce ic equal to 1 milli ampere okay so this is the question now this question can be solved by two different methods both methods are correct and interrelated so i am just going to show these two method one by one so in the first method i am just redrawing the circuit okay so this is vcc 3 volt so here is your vcc 3 volt next this is 60 kilo ohm r1 this is r1 60 kilo ohm ic r2 500 ohm and this is your transistor q which has a very high value of beta now i'm just marking some uh, current to solve the problem in first method so this current through the 60 kilo ohm resistance i have marked this current as i r1 okay so this current i have marked as i r1 and current through i2 i have marked as i r2 and also current through this 500 ohm resistance this has been marked as i so this is the emitter current this is the emitter terminal so the current flowing through this 500 ohm resistor is the emitter current okay so i am just removing this from here and just writing this sorry so this is here current ir2 okay so this is the circuit so in the uh, problem it is said that beta is large so as the beta is large all of you know that if the beta is large for the transistor beta is actually represented by ic divided by iv now if the beta of a particular transistor is very much large then it has been said that iv is near equal to 0 milliampere so this is the first approximation from the beta is large okay so beta equal to ic divided by iv as beta is very very much large so you can approximate iv equal to 0 so this iv is actually equal to zero now we have to find out what is the value of ir1 and ir2 now as the ib is zero this is ib so in this note ir1 is the incoming current ir2 is the outgoing current and ib is the outgoing current so as the ib is zero so you can easily write that ir1 is actually equal to ir2 as ib is equal to zero okay so r2 can be calculated your r2 that can be calculated the, if this voltage is vb okay this voltage is the base voltage so r2 can be vb divided by ir1 or vb divided by ir2 okay so from this method you can actually calculate the value of r2 so i am going sorry i am just removing all this so okay so this is your figure and okay so in the previously r2 equal to vv divided by ir11 and vv divided by ir2 okay so vv is the voltage at base with respect to gain this is the voltage base voltage this is the base voltage with respect to ground it has been measured with respect to ground potential okay so this potential is actually your vv 
now this vb is also voltage across this and also voltage across this so we are just taking the voltage across this terminal this terminal vb so this is your vb so this vb is equal to i am taking the voltage across the transistor that means pace to emitter voltage plus okay voltage drop across the 500 ohm so current through the we have assumed that the as the base current is equal to zero your collector current is near equal to the emitter current so this is your collector current same so ic ic equal to one and this has been converted to the kilo ohm so this is 0 0.5 okay so your vb is actually equal to vb equal to 0 0.7 this voltage is 0 0.7 plus 0 0.5 okay so your vb is almost equal to 1.2 volt okay so your vb has been calculated from the equation so this is your vb this vb is equal to this voltage plus that voltage so vb plus 1 into 0.5 it has been converted to kilo ohm and current in milliampere in the transistor okay so vb equal to 1.2 volt so from there i can calculate ir1 so ir1 equal to this voltage 3 volt pcc so 3 volt minus this vb divided by this resistance so this is 1.2 divided by 60 kilo ohm so if you just calculate this it has been find out that it is 1.8 divided by 60 and the unit is milliampere okay this has been the milliampere so ir1 equal to 1.8 divided by 60 and so r2 as mentioned r2 is also vb divided by ir1 okay so vb is 1.2 divided by ir1 one or ir2 is the same ir2 equal to 1.88 divided by 60 so r2 equal to 1.2 divided by 1.8 into 60 now if you can calculate it has been 40 kilo ohm so your correct answer of this question is 40 okay so in the transistor you must remember that uh, if the current is in milliampere uh, always remember that in the transistor your current in is milliampere okay and voltage in volts and resistance in kilo ohm you know if you follow this notice notation then you will easily get all the value of this transistor very easily you need not to convert this all these current and voltages after getting from the any equation solving okay so this is one of the methods of calculating the resistance okay so another method is okay so this is your figure now if we just convert this figure to Thevenin's equivalent circuit then the figure has been converted to so this has been your figure this is your IC and this is your voltage 3 volt this is your resistance 500 ohm and this combination is actually converting to a Thevenin's equivalent voltage VTH with a resistance RTH so this combination has been converted to a Thevenin's voltage simple Thevenin's voltage okay so the Thevenin's voltage actually V Thevenin's R, R Thevenin's in this circuit is actually parallel combination of these two so 60 parallel r2 this is your r thevenins and your v thevenins is this 3 volt into voltage across this r2 so 3 into r2 divided by 60 plus r2 okay so this is your v thevenins now if we just uh, get a loop across this 
suppose this is a loop okay so this this is the IB and also the IB is equal to 0 as the beta of the transistor is very large so if you just write down the KVL equation of this then we get VTH plus VB VTH equal to VB plus IC into 500 ohm okay so VTH equal to 0.7 VB plus as this has been IB is 0 so there is no voltage drop across this so 0.7 plus 1 into 0 0.5 0 0.5 means this and the current is 1 milliampere IC equal to IE so VTH equal to 1.2 volt and it is equal to this 1.2 now if you just equate this then you easily get the value of R2 so 60 into 12 so 7.2 not 7.2 72 okay equal to 3 R2 minus 1.2 R2 so 72 equal to 0 0.8 1.8 R2 so R2 equal to we just divide this 72 divided by 1.8 then you get the value 40 so 40 kilo ohm so this is another way of solving this uh, if you just have to look the circuit in different way to solve the transistor problem so if you can interpret the circuit then you can solve the transistor problem very easily so you have to must have a very good knowledge about the network theory thank you